The following are different segments of me actually working with actors either from a class or a coaching. They could be working on an audition piece, a monologue, or in a scene. Sometimes we can address the acting moments, how to up the stakes, strengthen what's going on, a cleaner understanding of what's being said and what's underneath it. Sometimes actors have personal habits that get in the way of the moments. So we start watching their habits and what they're physically doing instead of letting the story come in. Enjoy. What you're about to see is me working with a young man by the name of Jeremy. I had never worked with him before. I had met him once at a demo a couple of years ago. And I had never seen this monologue before. This was first time out of the gate with both of us. She must have known all the fortunes of her. Right. Everyone else knew. And I realized it was true that the guys in my school, especially the older ones in the ninth grade, attracted me. My character is a drag queen. And. Did you see that? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Acting is visual first. When you saw him, did you go, oh, drag queen? So let's get you in your body more. So give me 10 more Okay, good. Leave it just like that on face. I want you to, this is his warm up. Ten jumping jacks. I want you to work it. I want you to walk around in a circle and work it. Get it in your body. I want you to look at your nails. First one. She must have known long before I told her. <laughs> Feel different? Next one, go. Christ, everyone else knew. Christ, now, now the one thing I know about drag queens <laughs> is that they're a little. Out there! I'm getting the story from your lines, mm -hmm. but I don't understand how it happened. She must have known long before I told her. Christ, everyone else knew. And I realized it's true that the guys in this. There's the transition, see it? Now, it's not when I realized. Oh, when I realized it was true, you can use your own personal experiences. Mm -hmm. Right? When you realized your sexuality, when you had your first date, when you lost your virginity, when this is all these milestones in your life, use the same ones. Put that underneath the words, and the words pop and come alive. The following is a scene that I was working on in our scene study workshop. In order to go further into the actual scene work, I needed to work on a particular personal obstacle that uh, an actress was having with some physical gesturing. You slimy snail, you bed bug, you earwig, okay, you cockroach. Okay, 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 now will you please? Hang on, she's gonna go back to the foul mouth and do it without Play accenting hard. every word with your chin in your head. I, um, humor is the best way, and mocking something that way is the best way to bring so much attention to it, she'll never do it again. Earwig! No, what, ours too, the whole chicken thing. You <laughs> Okay, now please. Yeah, you heard everyone that time, didn't you? <laughs> you heard every insult that time. That's me working with actors. Everyone's different. Everyone needs something different. What it is, how I'll work, I'll have to meet you to find out. Thanks for stopping by.